We live in a world with light. Our eyes enable us to see, but just a small portion of the world. That's because the visual range of mammals, including humans, encompasses only the tiniest sliver of the electromagnetic spectrum, known as visible light. But other animals, such as certain snakes and insects, have developed the ability to detect infrared radiation. It allows them to see the world in low light. To see in this way, humans invented night vision goggles. Night vision goggle could intimate this ability. This device can convert envious infrared light into visible light on the display, allowing us to see in the dark. Now, Chinese and U.S. researchers have come up with a solution that could do away with this bulky equipment. Let's start with the basics. Light comes in lumps called photons, each of which carries a certain amount of energy. The light that carries higher energy has a shorter wavelength, and vice versa. For example, a photon of purple light is more energetic than that of a red light, and thus has a shorter wavelength. Our eyes can only detect photons with a higher energy level. That's why we can't see infrared light. The longer wavelength lights don't have enough energy to get over the barrier. This is where the scientists started their work. We are in a very unique situation. 我们两人在讨论的时候，就这个灵光一现，觉得这个东西很有可能能够帮助我们的眼睛看到这个红外的光线。Upconversion nanomaterials are made of a group of elements called rare earth metals, which can convert low energy, invisible photons, into higher energy, visible bits of light. From low to high, if energy is conserved, how can this material help us see more? 如果对于一个常规的荧光材料的话，那么它可以吸收一个光子，然后呢转化成另外一个光子。正常情况下呢，吸收的光子的能量呢是高于这个释放出光子的能量的。那么对于我们这里所采用的这种上转化纳米材料呢，它是有很独特的特性的，里面呢掺杂了一些稀有金属。那么它是将多个长波长的能量比较低的光子吸收之后，放出一个能量高的这个短波长的光子。Xue and Han use two chemical elements, erbium and iterbium, as their light transmitter to absorb energy carried by multiple infrared photons and emit it as a single high-energy green photon. Then they use a specific protein called Con A as sort of glue to attach the nanoparticles onto light-sensitive cells in the eyes. So, we have to make some changes to the material. 那它上面带上了一个这个基团，这个基团呢可以有效的结合到这个感光细胞，再注射到这个视网膜下之后呢，它就会很均匀的贴附到我们的这个视网膜的上面的感光细胞的外段上。How do we know if it works? Researchers injected the nanoparticles into the eyes of mice and subjected the animals to many tests. They shine infrared light into their modified eyes. Finding their pupils contracted, and they exhibited nerve responses. By contrast, unmodified mice did not respond. Though the injection seems to have the desired effect, more behavioral tests were still needed. Uh, we're not like we're researchers. I can ask you what you saw. There are a series of ancient scientific methods and techniques that are being combined by the ancient scientists and collected. They can accurately tell us what we saw, what we felt, 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 what we felt. One of them was inspired by mice's preference to stay in the dark. Scientists made a box with two connected compartments. One was completely dark, while the other was illuminated with infrared light. The scientists observed that modified mice spend more time in the dark compartment, while non-modified ones spend a similar amount of time in both compartments. Perceiving the infrared light is one thing, 
but discerning shapes and patterns in that environment is another. The sign is to put the mice into a water maze where they would surely drown unless they found a hidden platform. For the test, an LED sign was placed over the platform displaying a specific pattern. All the animals could quickly learn to associate a platform and a pattern. But when a shape projected in infrared light, only the mice with nanoparticles were able to identify and solve the challenge. The normal mice wandered aimlessly in the pool. Enabling mice to see infrared light is just a start. Scientists hope the new technology might one day allow humans to see in the dark like generating supervision. More than that, these nanoparticles can activate certain light-sensitive drugs or treatments in places visible light cannot easily reach, as infrared light can travel much deeper into the body. Uh, 